Welcome to this video, where we are going to see the cheapest way to send Uruguayan peso with dollars to any bank account. If you have ever tried to send any currency other than dollars through your bank, you have seen the high commissions they charge and how little ends up reaching the other account. Therefore, in this video we are going to see how you can do it, paying as little as possible in commissions and knowing at all times the real amount that is going to reach the other person. You can use this and it is very useful to send money to your bank account in another country, to other people, or to make payments you need in another currency for services or goods. It is also ideal for sending money to your relatives. For this, we will use WISE, formerly known as TransferWISE. An online platform that allows us to send money in different currencies always charging the lowest commission in the market. Besides, having a very easy and intuitive use that we will now see, and being a platform used by millions of users every month. So, let's see how it works and how you can use it to send money in the cheapest way possible. The first thing we need to do is to log in to our account. If you do not have an account, you will be able to create one in the link you will find in the description to follow the steps. In addition, you will be able to create it in less than 5 minutes. Once you log in and have configured your profile, you will see the main panel with all your activity if you have already made a transfer. There are other very interesting features and aspects in WISE that we will see later. But now, we will focus on how to send your money to the currency you want. To do this, click on Send Money. Here, we will indicate the two currencies, the one we will pay with, in this case dollars, and the one we want to send, in this case, Uruguayan peso. Then the amount we want to send. Here you can indicate the dollars, or if you need to send a specific amount in the other currency, you can also indicate it and see the total amount of dollars. We continue with the commissions, in fee, you can find two options. Bank transfer with a cost of 3.52, and bank account connected to WISE, with a cost of $2. Later on we will see how to create a bank account with WISE so you can save the difference, but if you don't want to complicate things, I recommend you to select bank transfer. At the moment there is no option to use a credit card to send dollars. Apart from this commission, you will see below the commission charged by the platform. And this varies for each currency and the amount you are going to send. And below the total amount you will have to pay in commissions. Even so, the commissions are very small compared to what banks or other platforms charge. Below we will see the currency exchange rate that we are assured in the next few hours, so you can rest assured that you will not be overcharged or will apply a currency exchange rate that goes against you. This is something very common in banks, where apart from charging very high commissions for currency exchange or sending money abroad, the exchange rate they apply is not the market rate, and you end up paying more. In addition, WISE uses the market exchange rate, which you can check by clicking on the exchange rate displayed and see the graph with the evolution of the exchange rate. And if you are suspicious, you can look it up yourself and you will see that it is the real market exchange rate they offer. Just below, you will see the amount you are saving by using WISE and not a traditional bank, and the estimated time it will take to arrive. You can even click on compare prices to see the different options for sending the currency you want, and you will see that WISE is always the cheapest. We continue with continue. Here, you will need to select who you are sending the money to, whether it is yourself in another country, someone else, or a business or charity. The most common is to send it to someone else, so we will click there if this is your case. Here, you will have to fill in the information requested to send the money such as the name of the person, their bank account, and other tax information depending on the country where you are sending. With the information filled in, click on Confirm, and we will go to the Review part. Here, simply check that you have entered all the information correctly, and if so, click on Confirm and Continue. Finally, the Payment Method. This is one of the best parts of WISE, where you can pay in many different ways for convenience. This is related to the commission that we have seen before, where depending on the payment method, the commission will be higher or lower. Usually, if the commission is higher, the money will also arrive faster. As you can see there are different options, but we will focus on the most common and used ones. The bank transfer, with a lower commission, but it usually takes between 1 and 3 days to receive the wise money and then send it to the account we have indicated. And the credit or debit card, where we can pay at the moment, and that the money arrives a day earlier to the bank account that we have indicated, paying a higher commission. 
Any of the two methods is ideal to pay, and once you are sure which one to use, simply click on continue to payment and make the payment. In the case of using bank transfer, we must indicate if we are ourselves who will send the money or someone else. The way in which we will make the transfer and that's it. Once you have made the payment, the money will be on its way to the bank account you have indicated. This way, you will have been able to send money with another currency, without paying the high commissions that banks have. In addition to unfavorable currency exchange rates. In the main panel, you will be able to see the status of your transfer and if the money has already been received by the indicated bank account. In addition, you can see all the activity you have performed, and you can use the same information for another transfer in the future. Remember that if you do not have an account with WISE, you will be able to create one with the link in the description. Before we finish, WISE has other very useful features, which if you send money with another currency on a regular basis, can be very useful. The first one is the international debit card for only $7, which you can receive at home. The best thing about this card is that you save money on the fees charged on a regular card if you pay in another currency, and you can save a lot of money on it. If you travel and have to pay with other currencies from your bank account, no doubt these $7 will seem little with the great amount you can save in commissions. A very useful card for travel, Erasmus or any activity you have to do and pay with a currency other than your own. In recipients, you can add your bank account in case you need to make transfers in WISE. You can also add other accounts and information so you don't have to add it every time and just click on the account you need. If you have to send money regularly to different people, it is certainly a very handy feature to add their information even before sending money, so you can have it saved for the future. In balances, you can open a balance with any currency in the world. This will allow you that if someone wants to pay you in another currency, they can do it in your WISE account. Perhaps you are wondering what good it does me, very easy, if they send money to your bank account with another currency, it is very likely that the exchange rate will be unfavorable and your own bank will charge you a commission for receiving money in another currency internationally. Here, you can receive the money in your currency, and then send it to your account or use it with your card to save all the high bank fees. Click on Open a Balance, and the currency you want to use. Now you will have a balance with that currency. If you click on the currency, you will see your bank account where you can send money in that currency to have it in your WISE balance, and then use it or transfer it to your bank account. You will see that there are some currencies that have fees like the dollar if you do not use ACH, but believe me they are much lower fees than what your bank can charge you. Finally, in JARS, you can create a savings account by setting aside money you have in your balance and setting goals for amounts you want to reach. One more way to manage your money within WISE. I hope this video has helped you to save as much as possible by sending money abroad with another currency. In the description, you will be able to find the link to create your account with WISE if you don't have one yet.